Okay, well here we are again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and today we're going to look at changing the ignition system on what's called a Hall Effect ignition system with a coil, an idle control box, and an amplifier, and some other fat wiring that comes down to the dual can distributor one of the back doing the normal we'll call it function of taking the vacuum directly off the carb and then the other one which goes around and operates all this system which is designed to help with the throttle Volkswagen throttle blip syndrome as it was in those days. That's to say that after you'd done a long run and you took your foot off the throttle and when you came to a halt it wouldn't tick over properly. You had to give it a little blip or two to get it back up. Okay, now this is set up absolutely as per the handbook and the factory and so on. So that when you're timing the ignition and here, you're actually setting it to after dead center and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be transforming from this to this i.e. no electronics coil distributor and this is what's called an SVDA because it's got a canister but it's only got one pipe leading off it which goes round and as I said before goes and reads off the carburetor for the vacuum advance. I'll explain all this in more detail later on this is just to give you an idea of what we're doing. The dampening system is still connected but I've taken the vacuum drive out of it because there is no canister on the back and quite frankly I feel we don't really need it. Okay. okay, so here we are in the main workshop. We've got the distributor. I just put it in a, in a piece of tube in the vise so it doesn't get damaged. And these distributors, the sort of Chinese knockoff ones, right, distributor cap comes off, rotor arm comes off, not badly made. Remember, these are inexpensive items. Dust cover, Active Deluxe. Now, this is a vacuum advance. When vacuum sucks through here from the carburetor, it pulls this bar, it pulls this bar backwards and so turns the whole point table round a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit, just enough. Okay. And as it turns around, the points open and close. Now, as I say, this is an inexpensive distributor, and so looking at it, first of all, the points seem to be very poorly made, uh, and quite frankly, for the few pounds it costs, these are the Bero or uh, uh, equivalent German points. They don't cost much. They're so much better made. And they're a five minute fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap these points over and then I'm going to show you how to set up the initial gap. Okay. Okay, so now we've set the decent points in and we've used between 0.4 and 0.6 millimeters as the initial setting. In other words, this smaller one, the 0.4, should just pass when it's on the lobe and it will not pass with the six that's basically that anyway looking around this thing this is as I say a a cheap Chinese knockoff and so what we're going to do is we're going to go around and pay attention to the little details because for example the clips here never seem to work properly but when you look 
at the proper Volkswagen one, you see it's only a matter of just tidying up the metal wear. The folding's not very good, so I think a little, take it off with a screwdriver and sort it out with a tweak and so on and so forth. Okay, so another thing here, this is just going to be the base clamp that we're using. This is going, this distributor is being sent off to somebody in the UK, right, and this will give it a clamp. Um, there's a much nicer nut that you want to recover off your other distributor, a nice long nut, a nice a barrel nut, so that you can very easily adjust it uh, 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 when the engine's in the vehicle. Another thing is that the gasket, the rubber gasket there, is rubbish, right? Uh, doesn't even fit. In the ordinary um, engine overhaul kit, there is this gasket, which, as you don't know, the camera will pick this up, it's flat on the inside and it's curved on the outside and that's the one that fits and you want to just make sure you can get that to drop nice and easily into the engine block okay and then we're going to just tidy it up i mean the stuff isn't even screwed on straight look it's all wingy wongy you know so i think we'll have a look the diaphragm works fine i've given it a vacuum test and the way you test that is you suck the air out watch this go hold the air out and then let it go and it should go back if it if you if when it's under suction if it droops back of its own accord you've got a leak here and it's no good these aren't very expensive anyway right i'm going to use the standard condenser we're just going to set it up nicely and then they're going to set it up on a known same system and then we're just going to see how it performs okay so as i said for example on these clips we're going to make this one this particularly this bottom bit ending up looking like that one and improve the curve so that it springs more nicely and is easier to use. Right, okay, we have now made the springs work nicely. We've extended we've extended the lead, which is going to go to the coil, to the negative side of the coil, because this is just a beetle one on the on the little knockoff one, so it's the very shortest possible. This goes back to the days of when Beatles had their coils just next to the distributor, as it were. Right, what else have we done? We straightened everything up. As I said, we set the points. Like I showed you. Yeah, go, no go, and so on. That's just an initial setting because eventually. We're going to be using this device, which is called a dwell meter, and that will confirm that the gap on the points conforms well to the shape of the lobes on the cam. Okay. Right. What else have we done? We have, as I said, this is the gasket that comes with it, the little rubber gasket, uh, which fits on the bottom of the shaft. There. Not a lot of use. This is the proper one. Look, this, you can see the difference. This one is flat inside and, and, and curved on the outside. And what you do is you put your distributor through the clamp ring and then you fit the gasket, which you've already oiled just to make it easier to get on. Okay. Just put that back there. Another little thing. Put a little washer here. It doesn't come with a washer on these on these uh, little clamps. Um, when we've got the thing set up and running, I see no reason why you shouldn't be able to keep your original distributor cap and rotor arm, because you might as well keep the new ones in stock, and if your stuff's running okay, then don't mess about. They're all the same standard size. You can't get it wrong. They've got a lug, and it will only go on one way. So I'll be showing you that a little bit later on. Okay. Right, okay. Well, here we are with the intention of fitting this distributor in the place of it's very much the same distributor in order to be able to set it up so that it, this one, can be sent off uh, to the UK, to the customer, and he can put it, hopefully, straight onto his CT engine. And it will be correctly timed. Okay.
Now, another couple of things to note here. On the edge of the body of the distributor is a notch, which you can see is roughly in line with the foot there, more or less. Right? If you look here, you can see the notch there has got nothing whatsoever to do with how we are set up, which is this white notch that I have put here, which is where the center of my rotor is on top dead center according to the guide on the cage. Okay, pause. So that as you can see, here is what we're going to call our notch. And over there is the Volkswagen notch. That's for a beetle, basically, because the thing's all turned around the other way. Okay. Now, here in the back, in the past, when I test different distributors, this is where I set my TDC line. And it's interesting to see how I've actually drifted off axis there uh, with different distributors. Okay, now we come around to the top dead center and eight degrees before and so on. This is very, very important. And this is where a lot of people go wrong. Now I hope to be able to show you this. Uh, this is uh, the plastic squirrel cage. Uh, protect the fan housing, which should have an indicator on it of degrees of before and after. And then that way, with the aid of your faithful stroboscopic lamp, with the engine running at 800 RPM, with the vacuum tube disconnected, you should be running at, you should be running at eight degrees of advance. Now, as you can see, TDC, is not on the center axis of the engine. It's true in the case of beetles. It's not true in the case of anything afterwards. You must time that is zero. And where a lot of people are going wrong and they're saying, oh, it's got no pulling power and it runs and it pops and it overheats and so on, because they think that's zero and that's eight degrees before top dead center. And it's not. That's zero. That's eight degrees before top dead center. That's 20. So that when you're timing this as a CT with whole electronic ignition, it's actually just about there. So there, you see? Very important to set up that. Right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to start the engine, run it, let it come to temperature, and then I'm going to take out that distributor and fit in this one and be able to set up it, set it up with a stroboscope and then lock it off and then that's it ready then to be sent off. Okay. Right, okay. So now the engine's been just starting to run out to temperature. We've got the vacuum pipe disconnected and it's ticking over at about 800 RPM. Put the strobe lamp on. Now I don't know if you're going to be able to catch if the thing will catch it, but I do assure you that's sitting just about on the eight, maybe a teeny fraction advanced, eight and a half. But the engine's not quite up to operating temperature yet. But anyway, that's the principle that you have the strobe lamp. Separate power source, don't use the car battery. And that's the ferrite lead which has to go on around the right way put it on number one plug and then it'll flash in the right place okay so we're gonna oh, sorry fingers in front of the lens uh, right so there's the ferrite plug we're gonna take all that off switch the engine off take all that off put in the new distributor and tune that in okay